Now, Falls Creek in the Alpine National Park in regional Victoria may be one of the country's best known ski resorts, but when the snowboarders and skiers have migrated north and the snow has melted away, underneath is revealed some of Australia's best alpine walking tracks. And we're joining Park Trek Walking Holidays for Easter in the Victorian Alps. Falls Creek is located roughly five hours drive from Melbourne. Transport, accommodation and all meals are included on this tour. We're staying at the Viking Ski Lodge, which is clean and comfortable. The view of the sunset over the village and Alps is amazing. Once we're all settled in, I catch up with our guides Anne and Rochelle to find out more about Park Trek. Park Trek takes people into Australian national parks and what we do is provide small groups of people an experience of trekking um, through the natural environment. My favourite part about being a Park Trek guide is getting people outdoors, getting them close to nature, being outside, um, teaching them all about it and getting them excited about being away I guess from their busy lifestyles. The Alpine National Park is an incredibly diverse ecosystem where it's all about the tiny details. The park was devastated by fire in 2003 and the ghostly snow gums are slowly regenerating. Our daily treks take us to several different areas of the park, including Mount Cope, for spectacular views across the high country plains. While there are a few steep climbs, the pace is easy and relaxed and suitable for anyone of a reasonable fitness level. Now, one of the highlights of this trip is the chance to learn about the historic high country huts of the early Victorian cattlemen. It all started when they needed more grazing area, so it, it actually goes back as early as the 1840s um, where they were running out of space um, to put their cattle on and bringing them up into the Alps in the summer also allowed them to have more cattle um, because they'd have more feed for them so they'd bring them up in summer um, but for, that meant for them they actually needed somewhere to be in summer so they built all these huts all over the Victorian Alps um, where they could then stay but they obviously would be abandoned in winter so they were very basic simple huts that they could get shelter from in summer and then in winter they'd bring the cattle back down into the valleys and away from the snow. Now the oldest surviving hut in the Alpine National Park is the Wallace Hut. The hut is listed on the Historic Buildings Register and it's a fascinating insight into this chapter in Aussie pioneering history. All right, now the Wallace Hut was built by the Wallace brothers, Stuart, Arthur and William back in the late 1880s and a lot of cattlemen would have used this hut over the years and a lot of them have left their marks so it's really really interesting if you come and have a look at the mantle here you can see that a lot of them have burnt their initials and names into the mantelpiece also in the beams along the roof there's a date over here 1903 and apparently it is possible to see the initials of the brothers although you'll need an expert to help you find them i'm not able to track them down but definitely worth coming and having a look for yourself top tips for coming with park trek into the alps is to be prepared for cold weather, so have, have the appropriate clothing and a good pair of walking boots and a camera because there's lots to photograph and be prepared to have fun. For more details, just go online.